Findings from research done by Uganda Revenue Authority in collaboration with the United Nations University under the World Institute for Development Economic Research shows that the impact of tax incentive regime in four categories is little or not even felt. An estimate of 160 billion shillings is lost annually in non-clearance of corporate income tax. So basically we did uh, an analysis of those firms benefiting from tax holidays. Uh, given that 10-year tax holiday, firms uh, operating in industrial parks, firms uh, operating in, in export processing zones, firms exporting 80% of their, of, of their products, and also firms engaged in agro-processing. So those are the four key categories of firms we're looking at. And on average, we analyzed that uh, on average we are losing 160 billion per year through those, uh, those categories of firms. But rather, what I would like to, to state categorically is that that is a lower bound estimate. What I'm saying is that it is rather a pessimistic estimate because many other firms are not looked at. So we, we are, there's, there's, there's more revenue we are, we, are, we are likely losing from such firms because many of them do not file returns and yet the analysis was based on what they have declared to Uganda Revenue Authority. Economic experts also hinted on the need for government to incentivize farms which are deserving. There was a small area where farms in agro-processing were shown to actually employ less, which is um, a problem because uh, you would expect agro-processing to be labor-intensive and to employ more people. And remember, 70% of our population, uh, that's the activity they do. That's most 70% of our working population that is about um, more than 8 million people are employed in the agricultural sector. So if such farms are not doing that, then you'd question the basis for our incentives. The study also found that the aggregate revenue loss to Kampala Capital City Authority due to non-compliance is estimated at more than 9 billion shillings in 2022, which is about 2% of KCCA's total budget for the financial year 2022-2023. Such a loss is estimated at 7 billion shillings in 2021 for incorporated firms that file cooperation tax with the Uganda Revenue Authority. Betty Ndagire, NTV Business.